Hey there, this is Jay for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Fasten your seatbelt. We're going to tie this chunky, delicious looking sculpt minnow fly using a fly fur, a fly fur brush, and some deer hair. I'm starting with this, uh, it's fair flies. Uh, it's, is it craft fur? Mm, it's it's special. It's uh, it's a craft fur ish, but it's thicker. It's very nice stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm putting on a brown tail here. This is on an Arex uh, Predator stinger hook, and I'm very calmly putting uh, bars with my Copic marker on the back. And I'm just as happy as can be making this tail as we go here. I probably even had a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of Loctite on my hook shank. Um, and I'm getting done here and uh, I kind of look at this and I go, hmm, I'd like to spice up this tail a little bit. So I look around here. I've got some white fly fur. So I, you know, I say, what the heck? You know, sometimes you put white on the bottom, the dark on top. I'm going to mix it up here. So I add that to make the tail more robust and throw some marker on it. Now this this is a, uh, a Fairfly's uh, brush. And I think this is a uh, medium uh, Sculpin olive. Uh, and I didn't quite fall. I think I had three turns. Uh, for it, it's a long hook shank and I want this to be quite full uh, there's some applications where you would only use one turn um, pretty I know I had two let's say I had three uh, use my dubbing teaser to ease that uh, to make sure I don't have any trapped fibers and now um, I tried to use the primo deer hair for the wing but it just wasn't long enough so I went to some, uh, this is a bull elk, and I think it's a bit over two and a half inches long. I trim the butts, hold that very firmly, uh, and then uh, cinch down really hard. And I'm either using a two tendon ear Danville, or I, I could, uh, I'll also use Vivas 150D uh, GSP. So the whole point here, you notice how little bulk I have at the butts of that. Uh, are those pectoral fins? Are they an uh, perculum? You call it. Uh, but they look really nice. And they're only on the top of the fly. So now I've gone to my primo deer. And I, I, I missed a few fibers there. And I'm, I'm stacking this. I, I'm not getting a true spin, but I have a chunk on top and a chunk on the bottom. And uh, see on the bottom there, that's just one turn and I'm really pulling that in. And now I'm working my thread in around the hook. And uh, I'm most likely, uh, sometimes I'll need to use a hair packer right here because I want that pushed back. Uh, but I was able, because those butts are long enough, to just pull them back with my, uh, with my fingers. Now I've obviously, um, there are times when I will have enough material that I only need one clump, top and bottom. Uh, but this is a case where, um, this is a very large head on this fly. And yeah, I was authentically spinning that clump. Uh, there's my stone foe head packer, uh, deer hair packer. Push it back. And when I push that back, I will, I usually hold the head of the fly or hold the hook, hold the wing, hold the body steady. Uh, because I'm really cinching that down. So two turns, let it spin a little bit. The function of, of spinning my thread um, counterclockwise before I loop it over the hair is to make sure 
that uh, is to make sure that that thread stays right where I put it that doesn't kind of walk over uh, toward the eye of the hook and fall off the clump. So I'm, I'm done here. I put a little bit of cement in there just to make sure uh, that my thread is secure, even though I use the world's best half hitches or whip finish. Um, so there we go. And I can, I can, if I pay attention, I'm using the two ten denier uh, thread. It's a little bit easier to cut off at the end. So here we go, finishing the head. I'm going to use a razor blade with a holder. Uh, I make one push underneath to make it kind of flat. Uh, it's never perfect, uh, for me anyway, on the first push. Then I take a push across the top with the razor blade in a curved position. And then I commence to do some trimming on the sides and back on the top with curved and on the bottom with the razor blade, blade flat. As they say, take off less rather than more. Uh, so what you wind up here <coughs> is a very nice, it's a bulky, uh, flattish on the top and the bottom. Uh, somewhat rectangular, this pushes water, it draws the fish in. I really like it. So have fun, and my gosh, uh, we look forward to seeing you in the shop. I look forward to seeing you out on the river. Have a great day, and thank you for joining us.